Let us understand how do we write exact solution within a given domain and also a general solution. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. Here are some questions from our subscribers. Well, it seems many students want to understand how do we find exact solution and also general solution for a trigonometric equation. The request came to work in radians and therefore I'll be working for x being 0 to 2 pi and then providing you with general solution for the given equations. The equations are simple, however, the main idea here is to learn the technique of writing the solution as required. Perfect. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let's take up this question, which is 2 times sine x plus 1. So that is one factor. The other one is sine x, okay, equals to 0. So whenever you want to solve this equation, both these factors separately equate them to 0. So we have 2 sin x plus 1 equals to 0 and sin x equals to 0. Now this gives us sin x as equal to minus 1 and then divide by 2, we get minus half and here we have sin x equals to 0. So first, let me solve this in the given domain which is from 0 to 2 pi sin x equals to 0. Well, let's look into the sine graph. So when you look at the sine graph, it is 0 at these points, correct? that is 0 pi and 2 pi. So that becomes one set of solutions. So we can write within this interval, we have solution as 0 pi and 2 pi because of the second factor, which is sine x equals to 0. Now let's look into the first factor, which is sine x equals to minus half. For that, let me make a special triangle, it really helps, right? So, 1, 2 square root 3 minus half means you will be in quadrant 3 and 4 and the angle will be pi by 6, correct? So, minus means basically you're looking for these solutions, correct? Right. So now, what is the angle? Pi by 6 is a related acute angle, right? And so we get 7 pi by 6 and was 1 less than 2 pi, which is 11 pi by 6. So we have two more solutions, 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6, right? So that becomes the exact solutions. in this particular domain, 0 to 2 pi, for the given equation. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Right. Now, let's take up how do we write the general solutions, correct? So, we have done first part, and now in this part, we will now focus on the general solution. So, let me rewrite the equation, which is 2 sin x plus 1 times sin x equals to 0. Basically, we are looking for sin x being minus half and sin x being 0, right? So, once again, we have the graph here for sin x equals to 0. We have the situation which is kind of like this and the solutions are, we are looking for general solutions now, okay? So, general solutions. For general solution, 
sin x equals to 0, we can write n pi, correct? Okay, so, so we can write this as n pi, where n belongs to set of integers, right? Whereas 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, minus 1 pi, minus 2 pi, makes sense. Now, in this particular case, we are looking for solutions when we have the angle. Minus means, when you look into sine with a negative, inverse of sine is actually only defined in coordinate 1 and 4, right? So, see, this basic solution is minus pi by 6, correct? That is the solution. Now, if you want to write the general solution, well, you can see that sine is sine inverse is a function only if you restrict the domain from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Makes sense. So, that is the interval. And here, the angle will be minus pi by 2. And general solution will be, look here, if you are looking into, minus will become plus when you add, right? So, it is n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n of this angle, which is minus pi by 6. Is that clear to you? So, that becomes the general solution for the whole equation, right? So, that becomes the general solution. Is that clear to you? You can always simplify this, right? And rewrite this as, now let me write down the answer, as n pi and also, you can write this as m pi, right? Because those could be different numbers, right? minus, because of this minus pi by 6, right? And then I'll multiply this with minus 1 to the power of m, where both n and m belongs to set of integers. Correct? I wrote separately n and m because, you know, you could have 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and you can have 10 per m, right? Different set. So, that is how you write the general solution. So, I hope the whole concept is absolutely clear, right? Perfect. Once again, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.